Okay, let's see how to open this uh, up hole and uh, to open, take out the delivery valve to change the ring. So downside, we got here one screw, here one screw, take it out. And uh, this side, inside there, under the plate here, have one screw, take out, already I take out. This one, also this side, same position. Have one screw, take out this one. Then you will be able to remove this one. But when you remove removing this one, you see have one wire here connected for the rear light. So remember this position for the light. Pull it out, and you can remove it. So leave this aside. So now we will take out. First, the, is this board. This board need to take out first to screw. One, two, take out. You will be able to remove this, the board. Take the oil out, so no oil leaking out. When you remove it, okay. Cut these clips for the wires. It is loose and uh, take out this screw for the battery chamber. This one now, the receiver can be pulled out. So, this one you take photos for the plug, first take it out. You take photos you, so you remember which one to plug where. Then you can take out the receiver. So you take photos, take out these plugs, then the board you can lift it up. So have two screw for the plastic shell. This have one screw, remove it. After this, you will be able to take out this plastic battery chamber. Then pull it out. You remember where the wires goes. So now you can put it aside. Put this stuff aside. You will see the pump, the valve, oil tank. These two screw, one screw here, one screw here. Take it out, two screw. So these two, two screw removed. The oil tank still connecting the supply suction line to the pump. So if you open some oil in the pump, in the pipe, will take out. So. Here have the draining line. This drain line have screw downside. Open it. The remaining oil will come out, so you can take it. So easier for you cleaning. Okay, that's the remaining oil. You can lean a little bit the loader, so oil remaining in the pipe can take, can come out. Okay, now can remove this. Oil suction line, so you can take out the oil tank. Okay, removed. And also, here have one more. It is a return line need to take out. Okay. So this one connecting to the pump, we will remove the pump and the well block. Okay. Also take out this return line, lose it, so now the oil tank, it is removed, can bring it away, okay, so this valve block, this valve is for the big uh, for the arm, so channel 2, so this one in the middle, it is channel 4 for the bucket, this one, it is channel one for steering. So if you need to change O-ring for three valve, one, two, three, so you have to open this valve block inside there are O-rings. So if you have leaking from the pump, you have to change O-rings for the pump. You have to take out this pump and open all. So now 
in order to take it out, these six holes need to be removed. So mark it so you know where to connect it. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Mark it and take out, remove it one by one. Yeah, take, remove it. Then you can remove this well block. So these holes are all disconnected. Uh, they are on the connection as uh, some gasket. So be careful not to break it, not lose it. So now we have taken out all the block with the pump, with two screws, one smaller one here. Remove it and one big screw this side. After remove this one, you see this all the valve and the pump can be removed together. It is all secured on this metal plate. Okay, now we can take out. Oh, this six gasket. Put it on the table, don't lose it. One, okay, I'll leave it there. Okay, so if the pump somewhere leaking, you have to take out this pump for changing the ring. Let's see. So for removing the pump from the metal plate bottom, these screws need to take out. And uh, here, the suction line, this one, the pump is still secured with this block. This screw, three screws, and uh, have all your cham chamber inside. This three need to take out to remove the pump. This one inside also got gas gasket. I already loosed, so it's, so you see it's easier to. It's very tight because I already loosed it. Now you see. After remove it, you see inside got gasket, and also inside the pump. In let remove you will see have O-ring there. So if here leaking, you need to change the gasket. If pump this part leaking, we need to remove and change the O-ring inside. Okay, it's already loosed. Now can take out the pump. Okay, so you see here have the. O-ring is here for stop leaking to go outside. Yeah. So if this between this place, this O-ring need to change, and inside they have. So how to remember the position for the pump? Yeah. Inside this one need need to if. This three connection so, motor shaft leaking oil need to change O-ring. This plate, between the plate, leaking oil need to change the O-ring inside. So these screws need to take out to remove the pump. First is the bigger one, to remove the pump. Separate from the motor. This tiny pump. I love these machines because it's metal and so small and cute, and actually they have functions. Very cool. So now the pump, it is separated from the motor. You see, let's check it out. So that's the top side, and the inside have this pin to connect to the motor. Okay. Which is, so. So it is connected with this one to have screw inside on the motor frame. Okay, we will leave the motor. Now mainly on this one. So shaft have already between this gas have already inside. We need to open the pump little by little. Here is the pump and uh, the transfer power shaft. Inside is the gear and the seal. This one, it is, this two plate is secured by O-ring and uh, silicone. So I already lose it. Normally when you open this, use a knife, put it at the corner, and you punch four corner, 
you punch it, it will open because the silicone has some adhesive. So after you open, you take it out, you will see this. So these are the pump gear. It should be at this position. So, see it. So you see this red one, that's the silicone for seal. Also have the rubber, double seal. So when you put back, you can put one circle of silicone here to be sure no leaking for this one. Yeah, that's the pump. For maintenance, that's how to open this and change the O-ring. So this one for maintenance is easy. Change this O-ring, put silicone like this, high temperature silicone, and put one circle and put back. Also, this one also have one O-ring here. So this one is for the shaft seal. It is removed from this side. Find a plier. This pin, take it out, pull it out. You can change the O-ring for the shaft seal. And uh, here, this pump, you see, this side, which side is, uh, this side is the top. You see here, this position, this one, it is a pressure control valve. So if you screw it in, one turn, two turn, two and a half turn, so you take out, you remember it is two and a half turn, it is the right pressure. Now you take it out, you will see it is a pressure release valve spring, valve a ball inside, so don't take it out, leave it inside. It's a pressure control. And this O-ring, if need change, also change it. So, okay, put it back. Later, I will put silicone and secure it, put it back. So, tight it, it was two and a half turn. One, two, half, okay. So this one, it is like this, we will leave it. Let's see the distribution valve here. So three distribution valves, three servo. So it is all secured with this plate. This valve, each one can be removed by these screws. Also this one, this block for the oil block for suction and the discharge. So you see this one was connecting the suction line. So this is the suction suction line from here. If this hole, left side hole is the discharge line. This is the this is the screw. This screw is was connecting to this hole for the pressure control valve block it. Okay, now for this distribution valve, to remove it, you have to first take out the screw from downside, from the plate, to remove this one block. So this block now can remove, but secured by this three screw, yeah, to be, they are tied together with this block, long screw. Remove the screw. So what could happen for maintenance if you find somewhere leaking outside or inside or your arm or bucket was losing power or dropping, not it's, you can say it is leaking inside the valve. Inside the valve, O-ring will be need to be changed. So it is a machine, machine will need maintenance, hope you understand, but this one, this is the first one I got for after this upgraded pump and valve. That's why I open to see how, how to open to show you how to do the maintenance. Okay, the long screw also loose. Let her have to turn inside a little bit more. Here is the washer. Put back. Now this block should be, yeah, can we take it out? This is the first block, see? The O-ring, three O-ring. That's the O-ring here. So let's see, check again the position. That's how it was put, like this. And inside, we will see only this one. So inside got, because it was for turning, yeah, to open and close. Okay, clean the oil. 
So this is the turning for this one. So it is a one unit block, can only from this side. This side only connection for turning inside the the turning block. So now we will open this. We'll get the big screw. So if oil coming out, maybe this O-ring are leaking. If inside leaking, you will lose power for the control. See here, inside have the turning part. This turning part should be connected. This servo turning, this one will be turning to open the valve to connect to each different channel for different direction of controlling the arm or bucket. This one now should can't be turned. Yeah, now can turn because no no power. That's how you turn this one. So this one need to take out for the O-ring inside. Maybe leaking. We need to change if need. How to remove this servo? Let's see. For screw, take it out. So screw or remote can pull it out. That's the servo. That's the connecting, pull it out. Okay. So here is the turning part, turning valve. You can push it, take it out. You will see if O ring inside have some problem. Okay, this one just now remember it was this one have angle, yeah. Don't make don't mess it. So I have make mark. This one was the top part. Should be like this to to connect in this position. Yeah. This this position was the right position to connect, and the servo when put him back should be like this in this angle. Yeah, so don't miss it. Make a mark, and now. This one we have to make a mark also. Okay, here it's the mark with the paint. This angle, so not miss it. Let's take it out to see what is the ring inside. Actually, this one on the turning pin, no have o ring. The only o ring it is here for seal and have o ring here. These two should have o ring. One o ring it is this o ring for seal. Yeah, we will put inside again. And uh, also this no this one for seal the cover. Let's see this one. Take it out. Okay a small screw. Okay, so that's for a different chamber. This side also have O ring here for seal, not leaking outside. Let's see this one. Okay. So that's the well block. Okay, so for this one, it is when you're turning with the, by the servo. So to open the different chamber, this chamber here, you see discharge line or suction line to different position to the cylinder to change direction. So this angle it is very important. Also, it is sealed by this, this pin, the surface contacting with this hole. So that's why when you disassemble, make the mark. So when you assemble back, should be in the same position. That's the middle position. If it's not in the middle position, not correct, when you're running, will be leaking oil. So the the arm or bucket will be moving to one direction or losing power, dropping or somehow. Okay, like this, we will put it back one by one. 
So that's how you do the maintenance for the O-ring for the pump to change the pump O-ring and the well block O-ring. Okay, so I will put uh, back one by one. So you already see how to assemble back. So reverse the sequence, you will put it back. Thank you. We will see each other again. Bye-bye.